Hey, good morning, everybody. This is JD coming to you. About to jump into the market wrap up with JD and Mo. Thank y'all for coming in. I'm, let me get my partner in crime or my partner in profit in here. Mo Jeezy, you up hey. in this thing? You know I'm up in here. What's happening? What's good? How you man? doing? You all right? You all right? I'm great, man. I'm doing great. How are you? Oh, it's all good, man. Rolling. Got a nice, yeah. group, nice setup tonight. Uh, yeah, it's been about two weeks, isn't it? Hasn't it? Yeah, man. Feel like it's been two years, bro. Too long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love our calls, man. Well, uh, yeah. they're still piling in, but I, I have the recording going. We we can, man, we can start off and going. post it. So, uh, good. welcome everyone <laughs> to the market wrap up with JD and Mo. Uh, I'm JD, and we have Trader Mo on the other end. Good evening, bro. Ham. Good evening, my brother. How's you doing? All, all the way, man. I'm, I'm had a. It was a, a a good week from the standpoint of uh, getting back to the basics and picking up on. It it was a good week. I will put it like mm -hmm. this: we have a lot of news, um, a lot of information, and diamond hands memes meme stocks game stock uh the man is is out to get us he won't he won't let us he won't let us get up the man is holding us down type of stuff going on and and but the small man uh actually made the the big the big conglomerate blink you know i mean mo have you ever seen that where two hedge funds uh Melvin Capital was basically insolvent if they don't get that infusion of maybe five billion, and uh, Andrew left uh, Citron. Uh, what is it? Citron Financial or or Citron Research? Citron Research basically took a one hundred percent loss on their GameStop short. Uh, Michael Burry from uh, the Big Short he went long GameStop, so he made. 1500 percent return but the first thing i he want to talk about uh, <laughs> he a g and, and, but i made a joke <laughs> on one of his uh on a twitter post i said okay so that actually makes him break even because he's been short tesla mm -hmm. that's the run up so it is give or take uh yep. the, the one thing i want to talk about man um i'm gonna mute the uh let me mute the thing the notifications Put notifications in there. Uh, see my baby girl in here, my son, mama, hey. there, mama there, me there, P there. Hey. <laughs> Got mystical on. Got you, one. bro. <laughs> yeah, man. But okay, okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Headline grabbing. This is one of the things that that I I like to do, and it can lead, in my opinion, guys. It can lead to basket building. And it can lead to thesis formulation when we perform our due diligence mode. Do, do you ever headline grab or, or, or cause I know you yeah. read like, but, but you're, you, you have, a, you have a, a different, you have strategic reading practices. I'm, I'm, I'm diving in and just, ah, okay. So, oh, what was that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, Hey, that caught my attention. You know, that's, that's my personality. What about you? Um, I mean, I, I, I read a lot. <clears throat> I mean, I read a lot in general. Um, but as far as headline grab, I'm sorry about these notifications. Um, as far as headline grab, yeah, I mean, I do that too. I read investors business daily, you know, that newspaper, I, I read it weekly, um, yeah. religiously and, you know, those headlines, um, you know, I've come to, uh, you know, understand, you know, how to how to research those stocks and how to look at some of those as possible entries um in ibd so um you know as far as headlines there yes um i also like to use the uh finviz news section and some uh sometimes i go through there and i look on the news side sometimes i look on the blog side um it's not really headlines <clears throat> excuse me when it's in the blog but um some you know some of those blogs have you know decent ideas decent writings and it may give me um you know some ideas on uh you know that, where to go where to pick. okay well right there that that leads me to the fact of what we're looking for when we do it everyone is we're looking to 
we have to filter through the fluff. We're looking for signal rather than noise mm -hmm. uh, because noise move, noise can kind of, it can scatter. Okay, I, I try I used to try to play that video of Seth the Entertainer when he, he was like, all we need is, you know, Black History Month, shout out to Black History Month. Ah, uh, uh, yep. Uh, I know where you're going now. <laughs> he said, when black folks get together, all you need to do is have one person take off running in one direction. <laughs> we are not waiting around to ask questions. We're brother, what, 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 get lace in him, get lace in him, you know, and, and, and they'll take off, man. And the point I'm making is that the crowd, the, the mob can move a market, but the mob can also get trampled within that. And that, that's what I want to go right directly to this one right here. Well, <laughs> I went to Ford, but uh, GameStop. Um, that's what folks would call GameStonk, you know, so GameStop, it, the, the, the shorts had had their hands in GameStop. I'm seeing square on TD Ameritrade on your screen. Golly. Well, I'm up here going through the screen. Thought I had some. Thank you. There you uh, go. GameStop. <clears throat> GameStonk. The, the shorts had their hands on a set of stocks. Boom. Everybody got hype. The Reddit, the Reddit army went berserk. They said, okay, let's, let's run this thing to the moon. We're going to run that to the moon, run AMC, but really GameStop is the one. And um, if if I know some of uh, our friends in here have taken the technical analysis class, but they've read books on technical analysis where we can spot on a chart exhaustion. We can, we can spot a change in trend. Everyone, Mo, what, where does this rank? Where does the following statement rank on your level of importance? Audience two, I want the audience to reply. The need to establish a plan prior to entering into a trade or an investment. And how important is time horizon on within this plan? If you don't, if you don't currently do this, just listen up and think about it. Think about it how it applies to GameStop and the uh, the, the, the primary individual was a guy named Hello Kitty or Deep F and value, deep F and value is a great name. Deep F and value, but he had no deep F and plan. Yeah, he had a plan, but the, the the statement diamond hands came into play. And everybody the time I get those diamond hands, baby, we're gonna hold, we're gonna run into the, but what's the end game? So go ahead, Mo, answer that for me and put it in the chat, y'all. do you guys plan it out prior to hopping in? Or do you hop in with, with Lisa and them and run and the deacons and, and when they get to church, they tell you to go ahead and buy or, it, you know, wherever? Um, well, at least for me, you know, I try to plan out every trade, um, you know, and I, I put an ash, I will put, you know, an asterisk by that plan out because, you know, you know, I always talk about having my why, I always talk about, you know, having, you know, a reason. Um, I definitely, you know, make sure that I have a set target um, and that <clears throat> that helps with my, uh, I guess, my time horizon, uh, mm -hmm. how long I'm going to be in the stock, um, because, you know, I'm going to base it on where I expect that stock to go. Um, but I do plan it out, but <clears throat> I put an asterisk by that because, you know, you know when you say plan it out, or, you know, people here planning out sometimes, you know, I would think, you know, as a new person or somebody coming in that you got to have, you know, two notebook pages full of stuff and you got to know, you know, um, exactly, you know, what the earnings was from the last five quarters and you got to calculate, uh, you know, price earnings ratio and compare it to other industry like, you know, I mean, that that's, in, that's important, like if you're doing that kind of fundamental, you know, uh, analysis. But at the same time, you know, my uh, my planning may be purely technical. I'm, I may see, you know, a play um, based off of some news this week. And like, you know, uh, just, you know, well, it was companies that I've been following for some time. But still, um, you know, I just off a couple of uh, news things I've seen this week, pulled up some companies and, you know, saw the charts and saw, you know, what, you know, the technical analysis was saying based and, and, and added it with, you know, what the, the news was saying. And, you know, well, my reasoning is, you know, 
it's, it got some momentum going. The, the chart looks like this. It got this kind of setup. Uh, price looks like it could go here. My stop loss going to be here. Boom. I mean, and that's my plan. I'm going to give myself such and such days. It should take this long to for this trade to happen. Boom. I'm going to put my my thing here. So, I mean, my my plan uh, with the asterisk by it can be, you know, something just as, as simple as that. But then there are others that, you know, when I talk about, you know, my DCG mastermind report, like I trade off that mainly. So it's, it's others that, you know, I research throughout the month or I research, you know, before the beginning of the month. And I know, you know, I've researched earnings, I've researched, you know, the can slim and I've gone through the companies and kind of got yeah, an idea so of what they when it, when it, when it finally gets there. It moves, <laughs> you, you visualize that one. Right, right. And then, I mean, you know, I, I, I go through that and I keep those companies with me. And so I know, you know, I don't have to kind of second guess at least the fundamentals or the underlines of what that what those companies are doing. I just got to, you know, follow price action, you know, for the rest of the month, really, and just make sure, you know, my support and my resistance areas hold. If they do, then it should hit the targets that I expect because, you know, it it, it passed my original <laughs> research. So, you know, planning, you got to have a plan, yes, um, but it don't have to be, you know, you know, two or three pages of, of homework on each stop. Like, you know, you, you'll get to the point where, um, you know, you'll, you'll find that kind of medium of what, what is enough um, right right you know, not not to get into analysis paralysis you'll find out what is enough to to actually pull the trigger to you know jump the gun and actually make a buy that man that's perfect because uh even even and i like like my son's crew like like i like the stock that that's that is literally good enough for a long-term plan i like this damn stock say something that i'm serious to the to the point of like okay i have an apple phone this is one of yours i have an apple phone i eat granny smith apples uh i have an apple watch you know i have an an i what is it i don't know that i've had i like apple i'm buying apple i like the company and that's that's the end the plan can be as 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 basic as that but one of the key components of that plan, guys, is time horizon. I really, truly believe that. And if we, um, if you can say it, it can go all the way down from long-term investing, with whether we invest in a four hundred one k, a pension plan that has been decimated at times, uh, or a Roth IRA, or even just our regular account or our children's custodial account, uniform gift to minors account. We're gonna say that's a 10 year plan, 15 year plan, a 10 minute plan if we're trading an hour, two, two days. If we establish it, it keeps us from having the FOMO that can occur when you see something like, you know, this, this is what I wanna get into where we can't place blame outside of our own moves in the market. Now there are times, yeah, okay, the Rothschilds did it, uh, the government regulation, there are hurdles but let's just take, for example, uh, Deep F in value. He was up 55 million at one point when GameStop had run up to probably five, 493. And his plan, he, his plan was long-term hold fundamental regardless. So he, he's in there for the long haul. I was a little frustrated. I was like, wow, there's a time that, that you can take profit and still have your long haul in place that that's that falls back to the can slim as well within one of your you know with how you basically uh operate mo um i just think we should if we have that plan guys we, we it doesn't have to be set in stone we can deviate if, if necessary if, if things come up and, and kind of have us question like okay Maybe this plan isn't working right now because one of the things like we look at GameStop and the the big thing is like hold the line, diamond hands. If he's still holding that referencing the gentleman that was up 54 million, he lost 16 million one day, lost 15 million another day, you know, lowered his his uh, return on investment. But you have that in play. And if you start seeing something like, well, hey, GameStop was up 
I mean, 15,000%, whatever, up from, you know, the, the, the base, the, just the bottoms, all the way up to, uh, give or take, um, 493. They, they said the, 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 the C-suite or, or the, uh, the corporate offices CEO, no one made a statement. And the, the other thing is that when, when companies have a blast off like this, they can issue shares and basically... They 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 can pull in capital and save their company, and even Jim Cramer said it, which I don't always quote Cramer, but I mean he made the point is like he felt like the GameStop's uh, brass were like the Three Stooges. They had the opportunity of a lifetime. And I told my wife, I said maybe GameStop had already packed up and said, "Now we're leaving anyway." I mean they can do this. We're not we're not going to take this move because this was like a history making move. Uh, I, I want to jump right to this mo and and. Real quick with the headlines, guys, we build baskets and you, I use the wall street journal, but I, I really use investors business daily, but I just wanted to show like the wall street journal. You can just go down the line forward. Boom. Okay. We've been talking about forward more and I have been talking about forward. Everyone's talking some about forward. <laughs> huh? I said for some months now, man, been mm -hmm. talking about, and the chart on forward shows we'll refer to the chart shortly but you see something like this ford expected to slash vehicle production over chip shortage if you have your investment time horizon intact this does nothing to you if you well if you're if you say i'm long-term believer in ford and their ev does, does this make you cut bait mo or do you do you like hey ma'am i'm doubling down on this Oh man, doubling down what? Um, I, I've been telling folks, man, four could go down to ten. It could go down to nine. Uh, we start pushing eight. I'm gonna start scratching. Eh, I'm gonna be like this. All right, what's going on? But man, yeah. nine dollars, ten dollars, man, four is a buy. So man, let let them put. But then also, you know, like I said, I've been watching that chart, um, watching the price action, watching how investors, um, you know, the funds, the the institutions, how they react um and have been reacting to this stuff this ain't that actually i would like to uh share my screen real quick because i did want to okay. jump um, on the semiconductors real quick but this ain't um nothing new like um don't think like you know mutual fund managers or hedge fund managers that manage billions of dollars didn't know about you know the four uh you know halting you know the yeah. production or the uh they didn't know about the semiconductor i'm gonna show this real quick this was in uh ibd uh just recently uh he was on <laughs> jd was on it just as i was pulling up uh chip shortages are hindering auto pc electronics production so this is something that um i came across um actually a couple of days ago um through a cousin of mine who uh, i'm not gonna you know put all his stuff out there but he's put a top salesman uh-huh they're gonna put his government out there like <laughs> no nah, i'm gonna put all this stuff out there Shout but he a top salesman for ford and he was telling me that um the ford dealership that his they, their inventory is low and they can't get inventory because of this reason right here because of the chips and so it made me look into the chips but it also made me uh think about you know, for um, and them having to do, I mean, you know, them building on uh, the EVs, building on um, uh, well, the Biden uh, initiative to the green energy, uh, the, the, the green the energy initiative market. and Biden, you know, also said that he wanted to uh, replace the entire gas fleet of, you know, federal vehicles with electric vehicles made from U.S. companies. So who, I mean, you know, who you think those companies are possibly going Absolutely. to be? Who are they already made by? Um, you know, Gene, so I mean, like the the fundamental um, outline there for four is there, it's been there, it's going to be there. Um, this itty bitty stuff, like, well, I ain't going to say it's itty bitty. I mean, the Ooh. chip shortage is a major thing. And I mean, they do need to, uh, get through that but as they do and as pr production continue to ramp up um you know it, it, i don't feel like it's going to affect uh materially affect their uh their uh plans down, down the down the road is is the, it wasn't like they they had a congressional hearing scheduled 
for for fraud like Nicola or right, any, right. any something where you gotta gotta uh, show up in front of the house house uh, and listen to Nancy Pelosi and all of them and and Susan Warren ask you questions and find trying to figure you know AOC coming in with the eyebrows and, and coming at you hard. It, this is this is just a natural order of things right this is this is natural this is demand right here this is de this demand exceeding supply um and when that happened you know when my you call me the economy my background is economics when demand exceeds supply prices go up um if there is you know if ford has to slash production and there's demand for ford vehicles and ford trucks i mean guess what ford gonna go up then prices gonna go up so like you know i i personally i see it as you know a good thing um the the shortage should not the chip shortage um don't need to drag out for too long like you know i'm, I'm making sure i choose my words carefully like it could present a material um you know effect to the company uh but you know i mean this is like i said this ain't nothing new and you know it's companies around the world that depend on chips and they they gonna get it straight that's just how i feel about it okay in, in the chat, jay ford mentioned you know read that there's enough silver for 30 years of chips and tyrese mentioned said if it, the shortage hits ford it's going to hit the other manufacturers as well but and i believe that and the thing is like with with with, with jay mentioning silver this goes back to our mining uh stock scouting report with the rare earth metals the set the, the key to the electric vehicle transformation and evolution is going to be the battery tech it's going to be how can we make a better battery a longer lasting battery a higher yep. output battery without having as much heat you know or is single stack are we stacking them are we gonna you know is it going to be a single state battery and is it going to be are we going to use the, uh, the the key with with one of them is going to be are we going to do a cobalt free battery so we can stay out of the congo and not let the children over there you know it's not like we're cutting jobs when you move cobalt it's, it's you're saving child labor you know that kind of mm -hmm. thing so kind of research that um the cobalt free batteries but silver people you know and mo was really you know mo and i had a discussion on silver mo was in the silver he's been watching silver and that silver push has been key. Everything it together is gonna it's gonna tie together like a like a a, a large spider's web over the mm -hmm. next five to ten years. And I keep reading Mo, and I keep listening to a lot of engineers and, and innovation enthusiasts. Uh, one of the the keys is Wright's law about it. Mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. Instead of like Kathy you know, Wood talks about that all the time. Wright's law when you the production line every once you produce something every doubling in production it it's the the cost of production goes down innovation is is deflationary and it also we we move faster than the expectations of the street when it comes to innovation now when it comes to new tech new innovation there's in, there's something called charlie munger talks about we have to locate inefficient markets to try to take advantage of mispriced you know, uh, anomalies or, or, or arbitrage where they think something should be valued at this level, but they're, Kathy Wood has killed that area, ARK Invest, where they, they look at things with a different valuation. Uh, Mo, mm -hmm. go, go, can you go into that aspect of like when, when someone in our, in our group and our crowd is trying to look and say, okay, man, in five years, I think the solar sector is, is going to be, you know, how do I, value that you know that kind of thing what what do you do when like when i sit with my wife and break it down we talk about uh, we talked about uber and flying taxis and, and what's gonna happen we talked about lumber when when the when the rona waterfall hit we were like i'm watching lumber and she was like oh, okay uh, um pot latch and you know different things man can you kind of break down valuations and, and future uh outlooks um i'll i'll, <laughs> I'll try well, okay, <laughs> no, okay i mean because like valuations is 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 an involved thing but as far as like future outlook i mean okay, what yeah. i what i can definitely say is you know I, I i definitely um look at things like from a uh perspective that 
Um, you know, things happen in cycles. It happens in seasons. It happen. Things happen in seasonalities. I've been able to um, view that, participating in the market, experience it, trade through it, um, <laughs> trade against it, trade with it. Um, but you know, things happen in sequel size and sequels, uh, cycles, seasons, um, and seasonalities. And so um, that kind of undergirds a lot of my research. I, you know, looking forward, I like to think, you know, what kind of cycles are coming ahead, what kind of cycles are starting, what um, could be um, something that, you know, uh, could, you know, be looked at. Like we just started the new presidential cycle. It's a four year cycle, you know, stocks move in certain ways in certain years based on, um, you know, the election cycle. So we start in a new election cycle. How, to, how, how should I approach the general market? You know, what stocks should I look at? Um, you know, these upcoming quarters, we in the first, you know, quarter, we're coming up to the second quarter, third quarter, uh, what, you know, what things have been doing well? Uh, what things should I look at based on, you know, seasonality? Um, we look, we're, coming off of, you know, major market uh, run the past few years, uh, kind of social uh, unrest and turmoil, like, you know, what, what kind of things should I be looking at? Like, you know, I, I, don't, I mean, it, it's, you know, when I, when I think about as far as like future, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about like, what's, what, what can possibly uh, be happening based on, you know, the past, uh, and what's going on now? Um, hey, as far hey. as companies, I stick with you know what was good. You know, what's okay, Mo. Th this okay on the screen. You and I have been talking about this DraftKings for a minute. I know well. We've talked about the the, the casinos, gaming, gambling for a while. Um, and I, I got the Super Bowl coming up. Sure, mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I look at I look at being up when you jump right into something without making a plan and you follow the crowd because it's very easy to do that in social media where we can follow someone on Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, whatever. And you just go, you go in and hop in because I received a message from a young man. Uh, and I have to be careful with this because I, I you know, if I put something on Facebook or, uh, or, or in the telegram group and I'll say, you know, I'm in this trade. I need to preface it by, you know, please conduct your own due diligence. Don't do if if you haven't traded options, don't just follow in. I kind of compare it to you riding in a car with some dudes and, and you're in high school, college, or whatever, and y'all go kick it and in the club and everybody's dancing and you say, Hey man, that was great. Uh did you does the girl you were dancing with have on the Super Bowl ring? And folks get quiet in the car and you're like, I followed y'all into a club and Anyway, man, that, that's the wrong joke for this topic. If you just <laughs> but, uh, said she had on the Super Bowl ring and she has shoulders like Lawrence Taylor. But uh, what I'm making is we make your own plan, have your own layout and have your, our, we just can't follow that crowd because they say crowd mentality, it, it strips you away of your personal, uh, of your, your own identity. Mm -hmm. That crowd mentality strips you because you'll follow people into into a an inferno and not know what to do next. But they may have planned to go into that inferno, or they may have planned to go down this direction. But it, every every plan does not fit each individual investor. So before you just take a trade because someone else said, it, Mo mentioned you know that he he lays out his plan. It doesn't have to be intricate, but. I, I believe that we should all have an entry idea of like, okay, the, the reason why we're getting in. And also there should be that, that rip cord, that pull the cord. I'm getting the, I'm getting out of here. If I lose this amount of money or uh, a timed exit is something that could happen. It's like, I'm gonna get this X amount of days, X amount of hours to work. Um, and then you can assess it because emotions, will keep us in in a in a trade longer than necessary and take us out of a trade or or, or an investment before we, mm -hmm. before we capture profits off of and the i don't know man the the trader psychology was one of the things that that was the last tactic for me to i don't know to tackle because 
we're, we're, we're basically, we're analyzing ourselves and that that's mm -hmm. the toughest, that's the, that's the toughest, uh, game plan. Mm -hmm. I have some questions for you, Mo and the class or not class and the crowd. Okay. Here it is. Now that 2020 is in the books mm -hmm. in what areas did you surprise yourself? I got three questions with that and then put it in, in, in the chat guys. Mo, what areas did you surprise yourself in 2020? Um, I surprised myself with, uh, the accurate. Uh, okay. I could, well, at least with trading, I surprised myself with the, the accuracy of my price targets, uh, for a lot of stocks that I pick, um, especially for uh, mastermind report stocks. Um, I've had a very, very, very high percentage of, uh, my stocks each month hit price target. Um, even for tra you know trades that I didn't take, but um, yeah. you know seeing them, you know that my analysis, you know, was on point. Like a lot of them hit that target and you know pulled right on back. A lot of them hit and you know kept going. So um, it that's that's what surprised me. I guess you know seeing it, seeing it, that's, seeing it. <laughs> that's perfect, man. Because yeah. it, it's something that that we need to look at because. We just, we have just gone through one of the, uh, they always say, you know, I, I called it a black swan, the Rona, you know, Rona was a black swan to me. Mm -hmm. um, but others were saying that it wasn't a black swan, this and that. I said, no, that's a, that's a well, it's a paper, paper sack brown swan. All right. You know, folks from the country, man, they, they'll say, oh yeah. Oh yeah, old girl, that paper sack brown chick, man. Yes, yes, she, you know, the red chick. Uh, that. It was something that you're not gonna, we're not going to run into every year, right? I really think so. What do we do that surprises? I, to me, it surprised me. I was able to. What surprised me was the number of black and brown individuals, especially moms, like the single mm. moms, mm. yeah, into trading and and yeah, learning. You know, and, yes, you know, and then the families, the mom, the husband, yep. and wives, and the, with the yep. Children. It's amazing to me, and, and yeah, under Man, you just kicked my butt with that one. <laughs> that, that because I, I you always hear. I mean, you, I, I I was caught up in the FOMO because I don't have anybody in my circle that I could talk to. But then you get online, we found this community of in people who were investing, trading, interested in doing it, may not know the next move, but are determined. And that's amazing to me, man. Yep. And, it, and it, that, that's not, I don't know, that, that has nothing to do with Black History Month, it has nothing to do with, it has something to do with the opportunity and the, the, what you, the barrier for entry has been lowered in many respects. Erased almost. It, you, you can know, get it on Cash App. Just get an account. You just a number now. <laughs> you you got to talk to no stockbrokers. At, at, at church. Oh, this place I'm going here tonight, <laughs> the Black Awareness <laughs> Rally. But uh, <laughs> going to be some good, 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 good wholesome girls. <laughs> them at the live Appreciate rally. that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, here's a question right here. Do you feel that you made a jump in the right direction in 2020? And I, I'm pretty sure that you did with, with your first question. Hell yeah. That's man i can't stress that enough man can't stress that enough and i you know i gotta give a, a shout out to jamar james and dcg just um pushing me to come out more that was my uh that was my i guess goal and plan for 2020 was to be more visible um and to put myself out there more put my you know trade ideas out there more put me and my soul out there more and yeah. uh it's man the, the dividends this year uh from that has just been phenomenal so yeah man hell yeah <laughs> okay tying that in okay look i met you in in wakoinda right and that, right man we go we, way back we would put posts in there People, you know, when it first started happening, people were like, uh, I don't think you should put anything about the stock market. We don't hear about that, you know, just to do something else. And so, you know, yep. if I had known about Susu's back then, I said, hey, get into Susu then. 
<laughs> What's up on y'all susus this week, y'all? Y'all get I'm, 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 right, I'm right. Where the flower folks at? I ain't, <laughs> I ain't, I heard nobody with a flower in a minute. Mug hand paid nothing. Anyway, hey, the point. Hey. Okay, now the the true tenets of susu, I believe in, but that's right. really just investing. Right. Give me a business plan. I'm. That's that's community. You got to go back to the roots investing. for that, man. That's, true. that's that's a different thing. And what folks was doing was not a susu. It I don't know what you said. It, it, it was not. My son drew it out and was like, "That's a pyramid." And then somebody was like, no, that's pyramid adjacent. <laughs> well, okay, well, it's pyramid adjacent. We still don't want to do this, month, you know, so. Right. But here, question three, but let's look in the chat. I, think, I, I know folks got hyped on the making the jumps. Uh, no flowers were, okay, 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 we got it, we got it. But the, going back that far, man, we, we, used to, we used to joke about having a Friday, sh a show, a news show, because I was always complaining that CNBC did not have enough representation. I wanted, you know, if my baby girl was going to watch CNBC, I wanted her to see someone on there speaking the truth. You know, I wanted my son to see someone on there dropping knowledge that, that wasn't always a 55 year old white male. It, they're, they're, and now that we're seeing this, this eruption of diversity in the markets, from, I want to say it's participation in the market, that's amazing to me. I feel I made a jump and I missed my entire, pretty much missed the baseball season and then became a full-time trader this year, connecting with you and, you know, and everyone else. So that, that was my jump going to question three, everyone. What, if anything, would you do differently if you could do 2020 over again? Because these are the things that we need to ask ourselves. This is something I did not ask myself at the end of the, like where the big short occurred. I didn't assess at the end of that. I know now, but what is there anything that you would do differently, Mo? Um, I would take more of my trades. Yeah. Word. That is yep. right to the point you might drop that one. Yep. Uh, I'm and my folks know because I call out so many. Like I probably called out 12, 13, 14 different trades this week. Um, you know, hey. A stack on each one of them, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, right, right. That'd be, that'd be, you know. So yeah, taking my own trade. We got some good answers. I mean, not, not, not that I don't, but taking more of. You them. would go. You would go in. You put more skin mm -hmm. with, like, okay, shoot. Instead I got of just, instead of doing two out of ten, seven or eight of them out of ten. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm with that yeah. man. Uh, got more some answers in the in the group. It's like. Uh, Cliff mentioned he played it too safe at the beginning. Uh, Brooke Williams, who calls out some really good plays in Telegram, take profit. Nadia, quit my job and invest early. You know, uh, Ro Ronisha mm -hmm. out of Tulsa, just definitely stop moving those stop losses, which is key because we all do it. Yep. Like, yeah, I'm going to move this down a little bit. I'm going to yep. raise the stop. You know, nope. different. Can't do that. When different they hit that problem. line, just cut it. Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, and, and take profits, learn the charts first before that's key or have it, all, all the charts are for us, the charts and, and other, other avenues where we would do the do perform due diligence. It's just the edge, something that would give us uh, a consistent way to pre predict price direction or, or moves in the market that that's the edge. So yeah, I'm with you, Nadia. Uh, and I don't trust myself, Ro, and that's why I have to put those, if, I, if I'm really taking trades, moving trades, moving too fast, every so often I'll, I'll take maybe five trades and I'll notice like on that fourth and fifth one, I may be kind of sluggish in setting my stop because I'm moving and I'm like, did I set my stop? You know, and I write, write down in my journal and that's, uh, but I think what I would have done differently I don't know, man. I, 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 the conversations that I had with you, the conversation I had with you in September of 2020 is was, was the game changer when I we were talking about my pension and things like that and, and trusting myself moving forward with, with, with my game plan. And you, went, you went forward and smashed Tesla, didn't you? <laughs> 
My man went through and smashed Tesla. I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> battle on this monk and, and ride this thing, man. Yeah. It it changed. It changed. Anyway. Yep. Move. Life changing. I'm, I I think everybody in this room has a chance. It, the books are out there. We don't have to pay thousands of dollars to learn it, but we can pay thousands of dollars to realize we don't know it. That that's the that's the truth. It, it's market tuition that, that the market will grab that tuition mm -hmm. on a daily basis from mm -hmm. any unsuspecting trader or investor. It, it just happens. It's a part of the game. But the more we uh, study and the, the structured program, you know, wh wh whether we're looking at Bill O'Neill's how to trade and, you know, how to trade, what, what is it? How to make money in how stocks. How to make money in stocks. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Anna Cooling's uh, volume. Uh, Volume price analysis. Thank you, brother. <laughs> hey, those are Bibles for me, bro. Uh, uh, <laughs> those two books are like Bibles for me. I, I love it, man. And uh, always, of all these podcasts, all, all these YouTube videos, I remember there used to be arguments. You can't learn on YouTube. That's not, man, shut your mouth, dog. I learned, I learned how to pick a lock on YouTube, man. I learned how to, you yeah. know, you can learn. You, know, you don't need to go to college no more. Yeah. They, on the real <laughs> you can you could get the syllabus offline go get the books and teach yourself on youtube but hey the practical knowledge practical application man uh with that i want to go to something today mo uh i want to go to the charts a little bit sure. i got enamored by by the cues today man mm -hmm. i know we're we're at a little bit of a little bit of it's not exhausted to me, man. This, I'm going to draw something real quick. Uh, this is what I call. I, okay, guys. Technical analysis is technical, but there's also subject subjectivity that it's confirmation bias that comes into play when we draw our chart. Sometimes there's certain technical aspects of like this right here, literally a head and shoulders, inverse head and shoulders, the head, left shoulder, right shoulder, boom, the breakout. It, it hit a point of exhaustion right here on this screen. If I'm sharing the right screen, mm -hmm. this is a tight bear channel, tight bear channel. And when we see a bear channel, once it's established after a couple of few days, you know, that, you know, the, the highs and the lows of that channel, and you can know a trend, you can trade a channel, but you can see within a channel, you're not you're not going up in a channel. So a tight bear channel, guys. If you spot something, you don't go long. You don't buy the dip within a tight bear channel. Little little things like that. Now, what I do see right now, I see the makings of a tight bull channel. But now the thing about the the, the cues, man. You can get one negative, amazingly negative setup, and it we could pull back. But right now we're at the almost at the top of a channel. I'm in a trade, and I'll look to take profit Monday. I'm in profit, but I I believe in channels respecting limits, like the ranges of, of resistance and support. Support and resistance aren't always just horizontal uh, entities. They can go. We can travel within within a story within a story, you know, that if I back out, you know, and I, I can see horizontally support and resistance, we broke out above previous highs, we're going now, but that channel right now is taking precedent of the price of respecting that channel. So you get a tight bull channel, a lot of times they, they continue for good periods. Um, and then I'm paying attention to news mo the the I know Cliff posted it in Telegram, the stimulus. I'm not counting on that, but that could be something that could be a price catalyst that, that could come into play. And my second stop positive sentiment for my DCG people. <laughs> the, 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 and I'm gonna drop it off with you. My my second stock. Uh, this set up for me, man. This is set up, guys. Ark Invest, Kathy Wood. That uh, somebody asked if she could get an invitation to the picnic. 
I said, ah, she's going to get, she'll get information about it where she can send a dish. But I don't know, man. Kathy can't send it. We, she, she, ain't, she can't send no food yet. Yes, she can, man. She, she man. She is. I'd cool. rather her come eat ours than her to send the. Okay, good point. Dish. Good point. Yeah. You know, she, man, she, she ain't she ready to send a dish yet. Bro. She can come. Kathy. <laughs> Don't we send can show her what salad. good food is like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She can't bring no dish yet, bro. Okay, thank you, dog. Thank <laughs> you. I'm sorry, Kathy. Right here, Mo, Mo, dog. Ark is set up to blast. It. I mean, guys. Now there's a bull. Always a bull case and a bear case. It, it could come up Monday, and we could say we're at the resistance level in this region, and we can pull back and fill this gap, and we can go into a tra and we can begin a trading. We could literally do one of three things. You know, we could begin this right here. And we could start a trading range, you know, boom, come down here. So we could be at the top of a trading range and we could come back down and retest this, or we could break out. We, and I'm, my money's on the breakout. I'm testing it, but this is a double top guys. So theoretically, when you get to double tops, you can get some t profit taking things like that. But what I, what I've liked is we've been tracking arc for months uh from breakouts to double tops to cup and handles to bull flags inverse you got the inverse head and shoulders back during rona when she came when kathy wood broke out of that and, and has been going since rona so guys keep an eye on that and you know square was, was I, i'll leave the one in our fund uh you know that that'll, that'll be just for for us right now, but square <laughs> for me, because we already gave the hint. It was in the chip sector. Mm -hmm. Look at okay, so this is the same setup of what's going on with um with arc. Mm -hmm. Uh we can go ascending triangle if I want to. Mm -hmm. It is a triple top within that. So we're gonna see what occurs, or we can even go uh, a mic a micro inverse head and shoulders, you know, on the daily mm -hmm. um I'm, I like these three, man. I like the Q's, Arc, and Square right now. The chip sector, love it. Uh, and these are all from the standpoint of swing trades, Mo. And I'll, let me let me drop it off to you, man. If you want to, unless you want to pull it up on mine, or you want to, you want to. Uh, I guess you could pull them up. I mean, I'm gonna still talk about my saying. I'm I'm boring, so what? But I still think you can make a bunch of money off of it. Still, I like four. I mean, ain't no, uh, you know. They're talking about the we just now. This is just now getting started on the breakout. It may pull, like I said, it could pull back to that ten dollar area. That's fine. It could pull back to that nine dollar area. That's fine. This thing is, is just getting started for the year. I think uh, you know, it, you, you can it look like it wants to start to create a cup and handle right here. So mm -hmm. um I'm looking looking forward to tap twelve dollars and then pull back a little bit. And people are going to take profit because Ford has been been running. It's been mm -hmm. secretly running, man. People, I, you know, people hadn't paid attention to Ford and, and it's crept up out of Rona. All those are said, those are a bunch of ascending bases. Boom. With a nice move up right there. Boom. And they had a little descending base right there. But which, which perfect nice move up to, right there. Man. Perfect look, time to grab. Look. It look. held all levels of support look if you go back it got levels to reach up to that's why i think it you know it, okay. man, this okay, one bro. going double <laughs> but i like for um let me think what else uh, uh i and you know what i'm still i mean i'm still big on ev you know i mean ford is my big ev play but um Heck, I don't know. That's eleven bucks, dog. Pull up, uh, blink. Oh, B L N K. Boy, don't you, boy, building that position. Even if it's top heavy, but I like that angle, that trend. We got the three pin money right there, and then that's some conviction with those with those candles up here. Mm -hmm. 
So that one is interesting on that little ladder up. So when you talk about channels, it's actually coming off the bottom of one. So you can go there or I can go in off in that right there, guys. And it's riding. It's it's respecting this trend line. If I throw a 50 on here, just a 50, it's probably well away from the 50. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, let, let's. Yep. Let's so I like um, I like EVs. Um, yeah, I like EVs. Guys, think about your moving averages. Think about your charts, learning your charts, studying your charts, because it's they're going to come into play when you if you're trying to do it on your own. Mm -hmm. um, we we got to have. Uh, you just have to have something that you can a, a measurable something you can measure um oh chips i'm sorry i didn't mean to cut you go. i'm ready i'm ready no chips i just i was like man there's something else we talked about it earlier chips let me put yep. that in hmm. so Wait. you can just pick one it i <laughs> yeah my folks in dcg i put a i put a few in the chats uh put some in the elite chat too um but yeah if you if you uh, go through JD's method of um, using Finviz to uh, research, uh -huh. you know, um, the semiconductor sector and pulling off some of those companies and just have some charts for breakfast one or two days this week. I'm sure you may find a couple uh, that may suit you. Hey guys, look real quick, just like what Mo said, th this is something that this is, this is what I do. Mo, Mo does it as well from the standpoint, but Finviz, guys, always, everyone always looking for stocks to trade. Well, there's, there's stocks to trade, but there's also sentiment plays that, that are stocks that move in the same, within the same sector, within the same subsector. And so let's say we put Intel in, the, in this ticker right here on Finviz. And we're trying to figure out like, okay, what other stocks could possibly be doing what Intel is doing? Like Intel, <laughs> the Intel chart is nice. Yeah, man, it, it is so clean. Uh, we can go from there. The next move is you scroll down on on, on Finviz. We scroll down, and we, it shows like what what sector we're in. It's technology. It's semiconductor. We're gonna click semiconductors. It's gonna pull up. I can get out that ad. There we go. All right, we got semiconductors. We have four pages of semiconductors. We need to thin this out, guys. I wanna know the first thing, I wanna know if this stock is optionable and shortable, okay? Optionable and shortable. We're gonna go with the price. There are ways to make money with the penny stocks, yes. But we're gonna, right now, what we're doing, we're looking possibly for a long-term investment. I want my stock, that stock to be over this, over 30 right now, I want to thin it out. Let's say I had a little, little stimulus money. Okay, moved it down to two pages. Then I want to look for average volume. I want a minimum of 500,000, but I'm gonna move it to 750,000 per day. That lets me know there's liquidity, that that stock trades. It's not like, now I always make the joke that the queues on the yard at Gramlin in, in a really low, 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 low volume stock, the queues can move that, move the market and corner the market. They go in there and put the money, but give me some money that the, that, is, that the bros can't just take over and own it. They already kept us from walking across the uh, little sidewalk down at Gramlin to Q Hill, man. It, I, I didn't know, but anyway. But 500K. I, five, I go, I, I, I put the five, I put the 750 that time. Mm -hmm. um, you start stripping it down guys and let's go i'm gonna go click on the volume or i could go market cap if i wanted to and we'll just go volume you can hit that hit it a second time these are the highest volume players in the mix we can we're thinning it down to just this one page and if we look to the left look over here you have your your key players amd qualcomm intel micron marvell Taiwan Semiconductor, sneaky, sneaky, but it can, it's a baller. Uh, ON is getting some love. 
NVIDIA, Texas Instruments, uh, NXP, South Skyworks. Just th this is how you can pull up a list and make your baskets within within a sector or within, you know, and then when you know something is miscast or, or, or classified improperly, like they have Tesla under automaker, which it is, but it's a tech play. Uh, energy play. It's a tech <laughs> play, energy play, innovation play, and there's there's no category for that. So, you know, and, and, and the, the crazy thing about Ford is that Ford is moving into that sector at $11.50. They're not going to stop making uh, electric vehicles. Not, not. I'm not plugging for Ford or shilling for Ford. I'm just saying it's not many times that you see a player that big that's been beaten down that actually has something positive coming up down the horizon, and their cars are nice. The and not only that, on Ford, like what I like to tell folks, like people like to look at, you know, all of the the new you know, uh, manufacturers of, you know, EVs, but I mean, like, who you think got the capital and not just got the capital, but got access to the capital, got you know, access to the access to the banks and access to um, the resources to put something into manufacturing uh, relatively quickly, um, access to the engineers and top engineers. Um, oh, you know, I mean, new companies may, you know, have some shine, but I mean, it's hard to go against a company that got that lasting power and they're going into this sector with all, with, you know, <laughs> the big hey, boys. So, hey. Shnakia uh, Scruggs said, asking, asked about what you said about uh, President Biden converting the entire uh, government fleet over yeah. to Yeah. Yep. He wants to convert the entire uh, federal fleet of vehicles to um, American made electric vehicles and my two top picks is ford and gm for that and gm because that's who that's who already makes the cars primary that and they're, that's they're it why would they change um and the tech now before we wrap man look look kathy wood mentioned said uh okay tesla's tesla is 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 the 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 golden it, it, it's the it's the cream of the crop they already have the tech, they already have the engineers, they already have mm -hmm. the innovation, they already have the product, mm -hmm. they already have the following. Ford to me has, like, like you said, engineers, product, following. And But Kathy Wood said, they're not gonna catch Tesla, but you don't have to, it, it's not a zero sum, it's not like a one, there's space in this sector for more than one company. Mm -hmm. And just like there's in the automotive sector, and but they said the reason that they're not going to catch Tesla and there's a couple of bull cases for me because Tesla is is my that that that's the I label it the retirement play man and it's not <laughs> over. Tesla is El Jefe. <laughs> and the fact for real. Is, is that that she said GM and Ford GM, they're going to have to hire as tech comes on they're going to have to hire other engineers that <laughs> are are experts in the in the field of the next move guys is um they call it fsd with tesla that's full self-driving and here's the play with that full self-driving there, there's like levels and if it gets to level five that's full automation where i'm sitting at the house and i tap my phone and my car is at another location and, and i and within however long it takes to get here that car pulls up out front no driver it's already it's driven to my house i hop in so you let's say we buy uh, a Tesla Model S or Y, whatever, and with the full, with the full self driving, we can also you can. This is in theory. You can also put your your new car in the fleet of robo taxis, and that's your business. You get paid because your car becomes a robo taxi. When you, it's like Uber. Mm. Tesla that's, is L Hefe. <laughs> Where like that's I bought for you real, man. Cars, you go ahead and lease two cars or buy two cars. Yep. One of them take you to work, and the other one is working for you. It, it you know, there, there I mean there, there's more, I'm sure there's headwinds, but if we're looking outside the box into the future, well, hey, 
I don't think 852 bucks is a lot. And also now that you can get uh, you can get small shares, but here's the play. I call it the poor man's play. You go the poor man's play on Tesla. You go to Ark. Go to Ark. Ark invests with the, uh, their flagship fund at 149. They they keep 10 to 11 percent Tesla in their account. It, it's the highest weighted ETF that contains Tesla. The most te you know. Now they'll sell it if they get over that, but they also have ARK is ARKK, but they'll have a autonomous, they have an autonomous driving right here. ARKQ. That's you still see Finviz. Good gracious, man. Thank you, dog. It's all good. Good, good gracious. But okay, we'll go back to ARKK. ARKK. That's the play for me. If if you can't, if you say oh, I can't, if Tesla is too is overpriced, overpriced for like ten years down the road when it's four thousand bucks, or is overpriced because we think something shouldn't be like that. Look at Chipotle. That thing is over a thousand dollars. Chipotle doesn't make cars. They make burritos, man. They make both. You know, I mean. But the point is supply and demand. And but I, most Mo mentioned Tesla's El Jefe, but. If we can't afford Tesla in our mind right now, $149 for ARC, you get Tesla, you get Roku. Or if you go into, if you go to ARKQ, the chart isn't perfect. The chart's been on a run. It's been on a bull run. So we're going to have some exhaustion and probably a pullback. I don't, I can't, I can't tell you where it's going to pull back to, but it will come back down and maybe trend in a trading range. But you're capturing the autonomous technology and they're going to stay ahead of the curve of, of if you don't have time to research what what, what do you think mo on, on, on my thinking on that because I, I think if somebody's going to do the heavy lifting if i don't have time to do all of that i'm going to trust i'm going to trust this one of the smartest people and i'm going to trust the smartest people in the room um i mean i don't know i I'm, I'm, I'm 40, a little hours different a week. about that. 50 I, hours a week. I know, man. It's, I got three my, babies. My issue with that, and I mean, I'm a little three biased babies. because I do my own research. But my issue with that is that even when you pick a um, ETF family, um, you have to make sure you're picking the right one. Like you have to make sure you're picking. You, I mean, you still kind of got to do some research on the ETF family and making sure that that's you know the right. ETFs that you should be in. So, um, you know, but at the same time, I definitely do agree uh, that if you find the right ETF family, okay, there we go. Um, you know, if you find the right ETF family, uh, I'm not saying have exposure uh, to multiple yeah. uh, stocks and no, in that different, those different areas um, is definitely good, uh, especially if you want exposure uh, to all those stocks. If you, uh, you know, you like Roku, you use Roku, you use Apple, you want a Tesla, um, you know, you have Microsoft Office, like, you know, having Arc or having the XLK might, point, you know, it, it's, it's good because you get a piece of everything. So with, without saying, hey, this is a buy, sell, a hold and an advertisement for ARK Invest and all that, the point, you know, Mo made a great point to guys. It has to fit your criteria. You know, I'm looking at it because I'm, I'm man, I just love ARK. I love mm -hmm. the way Kathy Wood goes about it mm -hmm. and the, the charts. Damn, excuse me. Uh, boy, I did that loud. And <laughs> as much as I like Tesla, there was a point in time where I was like, man, I. I just don't, my account cannot hold another contract. Mm -hmm. What do I do? And I was like, mm -hmm. hmm, S&P 500, ARC follows this thing. And I, I noticed that the charts were trending. Guys, you're going to find how the reason we did the baskets, you're going to find sometimes charts are going to go like, just like carbon copies. One will lead the other, or mm -hmm. one will lead a group of those stocks mm -hmm. down or up. And you can catch, you know, it's like they, the, what is the rising tide lifts all boats? Mm -hmm. You know, the higher stages in Atlanta messes with. N never mind, man. If, if she has, if she has a, uh, what, what's the uh, with the ear inner ear infection and you can't. Anyway, man, rising tide lifts all boats. Find that like Mastercard, Visa, they go together. PayPal, Square, 
when PayPal uh, popped the other day, all the, the, the financial services were, were going with it. So those are the little things you can catch on to and just lay the time horizon, man. Is there anything you want to smash, like just to, to say, keep an eye out for as we move forward? <laughs> you read in my mind. Okay, so um, something just came to mind. But before I say that, I wanted to address the comment. Shnika, uh Scruggs says it's a good time to buy insurance. You are right about that. Um, one of my favorite insurance plays is uh, my main man, Mr. Buffett, uh, Berkshire Hathaway, um, BRKB. Uh, that's one I've been keeping an eye on and uh, looks to be continuing to um, push this little breakout. Uh, looks, looks like it wants to keep going there. Yes, so, um, you know, Berkshire Hathaway is one that I like for uh, an insurance play. Uh, the ETFs you can look at uh, is uh, KBE and KRE. It's either KBE and KRE or KBE and KBR. Let's see KBR. KBE. No, KRE. We got the spiders. We got the insurance trust. Or there we go. Yeah. Yep. s &P. So. I like that Berkshire BRKB. Yeah, man. That, BRKB that is, is nice. I've been talking about that one in uh, I know the uh, DCG for a couple months now too. So uh, yeah, on insurance. And then um, you know, I, I I saw these in the article. I haven't looked at these charts yet, so I actually want you to pull them up. But um, something I got my eyes on: cruise lines, uh, CCL, NCLH. That came across my mind again today. So. Uh, Let's see. Wait, wait, uh, okay, did, are you laying? Do you lay out time horizon on the cruises? Because oh my gosh, my those bottom. look great. They're oh, look at CCL. That's beautiful. Are we looking the three year window, one year window? Uh, I'm, Canada just uh, canceled all cruises, so this might be perfect time where the cruises kind of stay in the doldrums. The price. Uh huh. Goes. Yeah, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at things opening back up. So I'm gauging sentiment about. Uh, these new strains. I'm gauging sentiment about um, the, I guess, the state of the vaccinations and, um, you know, how they're doing being administered and uh, being uh, how effective they are being um, and gauging that with uh, clo possible closures, um, you, know, or, you know, or lockdowns. Hopefully we don't have any, but I mean, I'm really believing that as the weather gets warmer, as spring comes in, um, you know, things are going, it, it may require, uh, you know, some other type of uh, vaccination documentation or something like oh, this that. this is but a base for I real. Think I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think things are going to open up and there is so much pent up demand. Uh, like everybody and their mama want to go somewhere and do something. And we got all this stimulus folks been planning, man, for, man. Man, <laughs> listen, spring break going to be lit tea, okay? Well, I'm telling you. Well, so no, I'm going okay. into the summer. So it's a few of them I like, but this these two are also ones. And I, you know, I texted you the other one earlier about the one, but I'm going to hold that one. Uh, the other one I'm looking at going into the summer. So uh, How long have yeah, I been mentioning good. this as a joke to you, dog? Rick's Cabaret. Rick's Hospitality. <laughs> How long, man, dude? Too, and I still ain't made a trade on that yet. Look at this dog, <laughs> man. People get that stimulus money, they can't get on the cruise. They find out Rick's Cabaret is open, uh, by the airport. And this is busting. And he's been telling me about this since, man, probably October or November. And it's been good, it's been going since. And if you for can, real, if you I, the, I'm mad I ain't trading this yet. If I, you go I, in there and then put the money in there, wife is gonna say, You spent the baby diaper money on uh destiny with the with the with the bad hip but if you put the money in the market on ricks like, oh baby you you invested in ricks we on the strip oh, okay that, that, that's that's a business investment so the, think about think about it's the narrative dog Hey, when Magic City, when when they uh, when they're, gonna have, they're gonna have a crypto coin. They're gonna have a coin. They're gonna have a, uh, a utility. Hey, token. let's talk about it. <laughs> let's talk about it. This, the city really, going, man. 
if you see this chart, this is a the bullish of most bull runs right there. We in it, and I'm gonna tell you guys what this what this right here is. That's that final. There's a this is a flag pattern, mm -hmm. and this is a basically a final flag and exhaustion candle at yep. the end of a long bull channel, bullish channel. When you start seeing your your longest candle with with volume at the end of like a like what Drake say, it's been a long it's been a long fight. You know, in that video where he's crying, it's been a long fight and is and cats are about to take profit right now. We missed the run, mm -hmm. but it's been I'm sure it's been fun, mm -hmm. you know, so it's going to go are, back and give us another. Those, those another are, entry. Yeah, man. And I mean, when people really come out of, out of uh, hibernation, they're going to go to Rick's. They're going to go to the, this company. I mean, what, what the cruise lines, casinos since anything to do with the sin stocks i hate to say it like that but man people sinning <laughs> they out there sinning man out there doing something wrong and getting paid for it so yeah uh generat guys last one for me this sneaky little little man. company it's an energy company uh you know so so if your power goes out things like that generac has a little has had a little bit of a run the only thing with Generac, there is something in the water that we always have to watch out for, and that's a gap in price. There are a couple of gaps that I look for. If I, I always keep gaps in the back of my mind. If I see a gap on a chart, no matter how excited I am about the current run, the back of my mind, I think about different price levels where I've seen just a gap in price. You guys can look that up on investopedia.com and that's something to study for next week, man. That's my closing remarks, guys. But I'm dropping yeah, off. I'm you. not going to say nothing else because I, I bring up two more stocks and we'll be talking for another 20 minutes. <laughs> in the morning, man. Well, look, everybody, uh, let's put your email in there, Mo, if people want to reach out to you, man, and ask um, you about your, your program. Well, uh, Facebook really is the easiest way. You just reach out to me on maurice jackson on facebook uh reach out to me in the stock scouts uh we put that in there that's probably a great way uh to reach out to me um if you definitely want some access to dcg holla at me uh somebody asked about charts with mo that'll be on tuesday at 8 30 p.m eastern standard time um yeah so yeah get at me and uh uh I, I use think this is thinkorswim td ameritrade thinkorswim uh and that's my email is in there guys thank y'all for coming out uh, i know i had to shout out my beautiful wife baby girl Miss ella b fine, you know and and, uh, ella b. yeah i had a great night guys thank y'all man thank you tyree thank Sonia, you appreciate y'all i don't even know how to pronounce her name sister scruggs ronisha richard ricaria naughty iphone guest uh Marsha, KK Styles, K Kelly, Jerry Fit. What's Jamie, up, K Kelly? Jay Ford, East Boogie. Mr. Ford, Charlie what's Park. up? That's the that's the East Saint over there, man. He can go crossing the bridge. iPhone, Fonsec, Danielle. All Danielle, right, right. what's popping? <laughs> Brooke Williams, baby girl Amira. All right. We well, all look. Oh, that's a bull flag right there on that screen right now. Right there. Bull flag. Might run out of time. Yeah. We might run into a little double top, but that is a perfect bull flag. Three Pushing pin reversal. For that previous high. Yes. Yeah, yep. Anyway, guys, look, y'all have a great weekend. Study up and uh, catch y'all Monday. I'm gonna stop this recording. My DCG folks, highlight y'all Sunday. You know what yeah, it is. Sunday, yeah, man. Sunday, guys. Uh, we had mastermind group meeting for uh, uh, so it'll be in the same. It'll be what. I'll post it, man, but it's going to be, you use the same uh, Zoom link, same, same, 777 9311. That's a great song. But, uh, yeah, all right, guys. I'm sure. All right, my brother. All right, man.